CEO running for creating the difference. I got a bowling ball that's been cleaned, and now I'm going to use some life after death on that bowling ball because life after death is a different type of bowling ball player. So I'm going to show you. Really easy process. This gentleman has cleaned his bowling ball. He was getting ready to go use it. And I said, well, bring it over here. And they put a little life after death on it. Let that sit for about 30 seconds. I'm also going to spray a True Cut Scuff Mark Remover. What that's going to do is, like I said, it's absorbing into his bowling ball. As it's absorbing in, it's going to put this tackifier in the bowling ball, which will extend the life of it. While I'll be putting the light on the True Cut Scuff Mark Remover. I'm activating it so I can go ahead and start wiping this bowling ball off and get it clean. When I'm all done with everything, I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. I'm also going to be able to use a power pad to wipe off any excess. What that's going to do is leave a small, thin layer on the bowling ball, microscopic actually, and what that'll do is that'll help protect this ball the next time he goes and bowls from actually having to worry about a lot of dirt collecting on his bowling ball in the first place. But as a bowling ball that was already clean, or thought to be clean, you can now see just how dirty that bowling ball really was. Let me see. Not very dirty. Pretty yeah. good. Not bad. Not bad, but definitely not clean. Not perfect. Now it's clean. At least this side is. A little more dirt comes off of there too. So we'll flip the ball over. Do yeah. the other side. It rolls a little bit more over this part of the ball. There you go. Same process. Let it sit. Get the pad wet. It cleans completely different than all the other ball cleaners on the, on, the, on the market. The main reason is because most ball cleaners use a solvent to kind of clean the ball. This is different. It actually breaks down the bonds that hold the dirt together, and by breaking them down, it allows them to be able to be wiped away, which is why you can clean a bowling ball first, then use this and get more dirt off the bowling ball. No solvents at all on this product. Got a nice little vanilla fragrance. Gets all the dirt off your ball. And a scuff mark remover removes all the scuff marks. So because he had a few scuff marks, we want to use that. But you could just use the power pan. There we go. Ball is nice and clean. That's the dirt. Use a little power pad to get any excess off. And now, the ball is clean and ready to get hit the lanes. If you have more questions or need more information, make sure you check us out at ctdbowling.com. Ronald Hickman, CEO from Creating the Difference. Have a great day.